American World War II veteran Dick Brookins may be an unlikely celebrity. May I ask you a favor? Sure. May you um, sign this book, please? Sure. But in Luxembourg, the 87-year-old American Saint Nick, as he is affectionately known, is a living legend. The way the people react to my visit here, I'm overwhelmed with the kindness. That kindness forged from the bond of a lasting memory more than 65 years ago. On a cold December day in 1944, Brookins was a lanky 22-year-old American corporal fresh from battle. And the town of Wiltz, newly liberated from German occupation, was desperate for a visit from St. Nicholas. Because of his height, Dick Brookins was volunteered for the role. We asked all of our GI friends to provide us with uh, uh, candy and stuff so we could give it to the kids. We had no toys like Christmas time, but it just grew until he finally put it together as a, as a town affair. We were happy to be able to put on a little party for the kids. It was as good for us as it was for them. That happiness was short-lived, as Brookins and his unit soon pushed onwards to the Battle of the Bulge. A turning point in the war, the battle came with a high price, more than 80,000 American casualties. Brookins lost some of his very best friends in that battle, and thoughts of a hastily arranged Christmas party for a town now left in ruins had all but escaped his mind. That is, until more than three decades later, and the arrival of a surprise phone call. Turns out the town of Viltz hadn't forgotten Brookins at all. Quite the opposite. Every year since the end of the war, they had faithfully marked the day the American St. Nick came to town. Hearing about this after 30 years, I was just dumbfounded. Brookins agreed to reprise his role as American St. Nick, handing out toys and sweets to a new generation of Viltz's boys and girls. And he has returned again and again to find a town still overflowing with gratitude for the man who has become a symbolic figure of liberation and restoration. Had no idea that 65 years later these people still are trying to express their gratitude to what happened 65 years ago, which is outstanding. And I'm proud of that. Brookins, like so many other aging World War II vets, no longer fits into his old uniform. Just the way I look, I'm glad I quit. <laughs> We're partners, we do this together. <laughs> but on this, what he says is likely his final trip to Viltz. That seemed to matter little, if at all. Mohamed Jamjoum, CNN, Atlanta.